Well, Sean, the head of a local police watchdog group says the NOPD has a history of hiring bad recruits, and they say that it's a problem closely tied to racial bias and staffing shortages. Up and down the street, being able to hear uh, the yelling and screaming and agonizing um, screams that Mr. Gomez um, was yelling as he was being beaten. Nuestra Voss, Executive Director Mary Morin, said people in the Hispanic community are talking about what happened to Jorge Gomez outside of a mid city bar Tuesday. But she says, they're not surprised. We know that both um, black and brown communities deal with uh, the police uh, attacking us. In 2017, a consent decree police monitor uncovered recruiting violations within the police department. And the hiring mistakes of today become the sensational negative headlines of next month and next year. The report showed a sample of applicants accepted into the NOPD Police Academy had, quote, risk indicators. Arrests, mental health issues, being deceptive under the voice stress test, DWIs, other red flags. The NOPD says the officers charged with Gomez's battery did not have any red flags in their background checks. The department said they rigorously screen recruits to hire only qualified cops and worked quickly to remove Sutton and Gallman from their ranks. I'm happy to uh, see that um, our police superintendent has said that uh, sort of, you know, has drawn the line and uh, has said that um, both Sutton and Gallman uh, have got to go. WDSU did ask for an on-camera interview with Chief Harrison today. That did not happen, but just moments ago, I did receive a statement from the police department. It reads in part, quote, members of the New Orleans Police Department are expected to comply with the law and adhere to the highest standards of professional conduct, whether on or off duty. Reporting live in Mid-City, I'm Jennifer Crockett, WDSU News.